Today, I'm listening to Floor Janssen sing Agape. Keep watching. Hi, everybody. It's Christy Bobby with The Voice Love Company. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the little bell below so you don't miss a single video or when I go live. Well, it's been a minute since I have actually made a video. I've had things go up that have been done in the hopper quite a while ago, and I have had a lot of adventures since I've actually sat down to do this with you. I've been to Alaska with my family, and if you want to see any of the highlights of that, you can go follow me over on Instagram. You'll see there's an Alaska highlight uh, under my profile there, and you can watch my family and I have fun in Alaska. I've also been gigging more, and I'm actually in a show right now. It's a memorial 20th anniversary of 9-11 show, so very heavy subject matter, but I'm really excited to be a part of something so important and special to be remembering the, the heroes, stories that actually I had not heard of before. And so that's been really interesting, hearing some of the incredible stories of people who gave their lives in the midst of that tragedy. That's what I have been up to, and it has been keeping me along with just getting the school year started, getting my private studio going. I actually teach voice. I don't know how many other people who have channels do, but I do. And so there's been a lot of getting syllabi ready for my classes. I teach on creativity as well as voice stuff. And uh, that's actually my heartbeat is creativity and working with artistic hearts. So I've just been in my happy place. I have really been just enjoying just getting into the fall season, getting out, singing more. It's been a lot of fun. And I hope that wherever you are watching me from, that you're doing well. I know that we are all in various states of being with everything that's going on as far as how much freedom we are allowed to have. And just know that I am thinking about you. I read your comments, even though I don't always get a chance to answer them back. I do read your direct messages to me. I so appreciate you. I appreciate your friendship. And and today we're going to be listening to yet another cover by Flor Janssen. One of the issues that has kind of helped me to slow down a little bit on video making is the amount of blocked videos that I've encountered this summer. I have really just had to take a step back <laughs> because life is too short and I have too many other incredibly fun projects to work on. So when I get a bunch of blocked videos in a row, I just have to say, I need a break. <laughs> I need a break from trying to do something that seems pointless. I really struggle with pointlessness. I don't know if you do as well, but when you put this much time and effort and money, honestly, into creating something and it's blocked sometimes for no reason that I can understand. I just have to take a break. And so that is what I have been doing. I'm going to be making probably less content because of it. And for those of you who are Dimash fans, I don't think you guys watch anything other than Dimash. But if you are watching um, and you are wondering why I haven't done a Dimash video in a long time, it's because his videos are being blocked. And there is one particular copyright owner who doesn't want my videos to be seen anyway. So I don't know. It's just a, it's a mystery. I'm still trying to figure it all out. But in the meantime, there's always Flor Janssen who can be counted on to be creating some wonderful covers. She has just come off a tour. I know that many of you said to me, you saw three of her shows. She did three shows back to back three days in a row. Some of you actually were there for all three. It was incredible. I talked to you, talked to you during the premiere and that just sounds amazing. She is so generous and so incredibly talented. So I'm going to stop talking. I just wanted to like get, you know, reacquainted, let you know what was going on in my world. Now let's dig in.
Okay, I'm going to stop it right there. I know it's such a strange place to stop, but I'm trying to stay within fair use practices, people. On all of my videos, I do. I really do. I don't know this song, and I actually went and listened to the original by Katawatha, who is, I think, the lead singer, maybe even the writer of this song. Swedish. It's been a couple of days. I've slept since I actually listened to this. But interesting, really interesting melody line. And so when I heard it, I was thinking, ooh, this is going to be really fun to hear Floor's take on it because the chorus itself just has a lot of vocal gymnastics required. And I know she's just going to kill it. So really fun. But I'm going on. thing about this song is the key changes. It's just got these modulations that are really unusual, really unusual melody line, really unusual modulations, and that makes for just some interesting listening, doesn't it? It's not your normal kind of singing kind of song. I mean, really, anything Floor does in the symphonic metal genre, it has a lot of interest, a lot of musical twists and turns, so she's, she's used to these things, but I think for the average listener, especially in the United States, when you listen, listen to pop music, it's all pretty much the same. A lot of it's the same four chord kind of maybe they have a modulation that goes up a half step or a whole step woo you know but this is really unusual very interesting and she is just navigating it so beautifully with just such ease that's what she's so well known for my mind is gone what's left is this desperate song i'm singing The track and the arrangement is by Tommy Johansson, who does all of her cover tracks. And I can only imagine that she and Tommy are working together in the studio. She's actually laying down these vocals because I think it's all her in the background. If some of you may know the answer to that, how this is actually being put together, I would love to get an inside scoop from you. Leave a comment down below. Keeps going down. Let me know. Again, Floor has such a grasp of her instrument. She is so able to sing without 
any limitations. There are no boundaries on her voice or anything she wants to do. I love how the description box says, no one requested this song. It's actually not a really well-known song, but she just wanted to do it. And I can see why, because even as vocalists who are aspiring to be on her level, those of you who are coming up in the ranks and really wanting to work on your voice, this would be a great vocal warm-up for you. Take this song, do some lip trills or vocal buzzes with this one, then try to sing it with the lyric. It's going to really give you a good vocal workout. It will work your entire voice. Okay, let's hear how this ends. Oh my goodness, okay, let's talk about this one a little bit more. One thing I love about these cover songs is how up close and personal we are to Floor herself. You can really see her putting her technique to excellent use. Notice the way Floor sings every song is with her jaw really relaxed and open. When you see her singing like that, you know that she is working her resonators, the internal parts of her, her vocal apparatus that are going to help the sound to come forward. Something else I want you to notice throughout this is the way her tongue is nice and flat and forward. She's singing with the tip of her tongue behind those bottom teeth. Ah, like that. That gives space for the sound just to come out. Her throat is nice and relaxed and open, and she's able to keep this position whether she's singing low or very high. you to watch on this next section how she transitions up to a completely different register. She's much more in her head voice right here. notice in that section how it's almost like the cheekbones are lifting right here and it's like the sound is coming straight out the top of her head. When we sing in our head register or falsetto for you gentlemen, we are pointing and focusing the voice right out the top of your head and you can really see it in this section and what Floor is doing right here. And as always, Floor knows how to sell a lyric. My heart and my mind is gone What's left is this desperate song 
Okay, you know I'm going to go back because I want to listen to that little passage of notes, the twists and the turns, one more time. Let me That is so fun. That's a great little lick for you to try and sing through. How fun. It really will work on getting your voice to be nice and flexible, just like floors. Then we have this really cool choral section where they're just singing ohs and ahs, but it really is impactful. I love the sound. It's really nice and big and beefy sounding. And I love the the instrumentation under this section too. It's it's sparkly somehow. I just think it is really effective. is so interesting but I think the arrangement makes it even more interesting I love the syncopation that happens in this next section the song just builds and builds and builds you come down to that choral section which is more simplified you've got the the voices singing unison but obviously there's some male voices in there as well as female voices even some kids I don't know I'm just hearing multiple people's voices in there then you come into this next final section of the song and it's got more syncopation, it's more driving, it's more interesting and so they've really told a story, they've built something here going from something a little more simplistic to something really beautiful and beefy. Whoa, it keeps going down. How much fun Flora is having. It's really cool that she's able to do a song she wanted to do and it makes me wonder as she's moving forward in her career what is she gonna come up with next? What kind of music, what kind of songs is she writing? It's going to be really interesting to see as she continues to sing with Nightwish what she does as a soloist as well because I feel like this pandemic has really afforded her the opportunity to live in both worlds and she does them both so well she really has an opportunity to carve out something really special just for herself and I'm really just so looking forward to seeing what happens with that.
Well, that's it for me today. Like if you liked it, subscribe, and don't forget to share with someone you know loves Flor Janssen. You can ask me any question about your voice in the comments down below, on my blog at voicelove.co, on Instagram at The Voice Love Company, and now on wiseo.com. Get all those details in the description box below. Well, as fall and another school year gets underway here for me and my studio, I hope that you are doing well wherever you are in the world. Please know how fondly I think of you. I'm so grateful for you. I'm watching uh, with rapt attention the subscriber count go up and up. I know there's a 70,000 subscriber count coming up around the corner and I'm already thinking about what I'm gonna sing because I sing at every 10,000 subscribers and I'm looking forward to doing that. Keep finding your voice. Keep making your sound in the world today. The world is waiting for what you and only you bring. And remember, you are loved. Bye-bye.